Hey, it's Rick Vicks. Uh, welcome back. Well, I'm still in uh, Chicago. I just finished uh, fixing up my brother's house out in the western suburbs so he could sell it. And I have been going to the Cub game because they're having a phenomenal year. So I think I'm going to stick it out and uh, watch the Cubs uh, win the World Series this year. I have to be down in Florida sometime uh, in the first week of November. So uh, that gives me a couple of weeks to uh, do some work on my truck because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I have to, uh, I got a rear pinion seal that's leaking. I have my fuel pump's going. I'm going to put new shocks on it, uh, new tires, and a uh, couple other things. So uh, I figured I'd make a couple uh, YouTube videos for the next uh, couple of weeks while I'm uh, watching the Cub games. And uh, the Cubs hopefully, uh, or will, uh, win the World Series this year. You can count on that. Um, so the first project I'm going to do is the pinion seal. So I got a, a pinion seal at uh, Pep Boys. Pup Boys is having a 25% off sale, so everything's cheap, cheap. I got a uh, seal puller, which I've never used before. I got the uh, uh, wheel puller um, to take that thing off uh, for 10 bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. I got some synthetic gear oil. I got some gray uh, dressing to uh, put around the seal before I put it in. Uh, B12, because this stuff is great. Uh, Oops, no, this is B12 because this stuff is great. I don't know why I have it. Uh, PB blaster and some uh, brake cleaner, a one and eighth inch uh, socket to take that nut off. So uh, let me get the uh, camera situated and let's begin this project. Oh, first, uh, there's a guy on uh, YouTube. Uh, he's a real uh, smart guy. He's, uh, he's up there in uh, Canada by the North Pole. His name is uh, Rob Steve. Uh, he's one of those guys who has uh, two first names. And uh, what he's doing is reviewing channels, and it's very funny. So I'm going to put a link down in the uh, subscription, or I'll put it on a screen or whatever. But click on that. Go to his channel and uh, tell him that Rick Fix says hello. All right, let me get the uh, camera situated. And let's, okay, uh, you got these four 7 16ths bolts that you need to take out so it loosens up the universal so you can pull the uh, drive shaft off. So just take your seven sixteenths, put it on there, loosen them up, and then take them off. You know, I always wondered about, uh, you know, that Rob Steve channel I was talking about that earlier. Canadian bacon. Why do they call it Canadian bacon when it's ham? Do they even have uh, bacon up in Canada? I think I'm going to have to ask him that, because that Rob Steve guy, he's a... Pretty smart guy, he knows what he's talking about. He always has good comments on my videos. All right, so just loosen these up. Pull them out. These little horseshoe tabs is what holds in the uh, universal. Grab something to uh, pry the uh, drive shaft into the uh, transfer case so it pops a little. Sometimes it just pulls out. Yeah, that's out. And then it just lowers down. Okay, here's the other end of your uh, drive shaft. You want to just pull this out just to get it out of the way. It slips out pretty easy. Some uh, differential uh, fluid might come out of there. So I have a bucket below there or something ready. Nope. That came out dry. And just get this behemoth out of the way. All right, so I'm going to uh, drain the fluid because I'm just going to put new fluid in there. It's probably been... Uh, Two years, but I have driven to Philadelphia, Florida, Chicago, so I've probably put a, a ton of miles on here. Okay, the uh, fill plug is giving me a little bit of a problem. I couldn't get it off with my regular uh, 3 8 so I had to get my breaker bar with an attachment here. Let's see if I can get this loose. I hope so, because that would be a problem. There we go. I want to strip this thing. Little sign says notice synthetic fluid level of 15 to 40 millimeters below fill hole something service manual unfortunately i am not uh, canadian and i do not know a uh, metric so i'm gonna have to look that up but i think it's five ace to 
one and All right. Seven. So I got the wrong socket. It's not an inch and an eighth. It's an inch and a quarter. So there you go. That fits snugly. All right. So it's time to start marking this thing. I also got this little measuring stick here that uh, you can measure the threads. So you put it on there, measure to the top of the nut. You push this thing down to it's at the end, and then it comes up wrong side. I don't know what the measurement. I think it's in sixteenths, so it's uh, nine sixteenths. I believe, or it could be metric. But what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this thing. And then you count the threads. I got one full one, two full ones, and then a half a one. I'm going to mark it with a pen also. All right, I kind of got it marked. I do have it marked. I have an etch there, etch there. I black lined it. It's two and a half threads above. It's five, six lines on that little measuring tool. I'm going to feel this is going to be a pain in the ass, which was. Or hopefully, it just comes right off. Perfect. Came right off. Easy cheesy. That's the way I like it. All right. There should be a washer in there. All right. This cheapy uh, puller from Harbor Freight. You got to attach this little cone thing on the end of it. So it mates right inside of there. I couldn't get that washer off, so I'm leaving it in there. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my threads. When I found the right bolt size, so you put them in, I put two washers on there just because, get that started, you do diagonal. These bolts to be in there. Roughly about the same size, so you just so you can bring it out to there. You just take this thing, screw it in there, line it up, hold it wrong way, make sure it's right. All right, pull it off. There you go. All right, I've never used one of these before. I've always did it with a screwdriver, but the transfer case gave me so much problems, I thought I'd buy one. So, I assume you just slip it in there. Is that the right one? There you go. Oh, wow, look at that. Jesus Christ, that's easy. There you go. Buy that tool. Look at that. See what it looks like up in there. Looks pretty good. There's a bunch of uh, silicone in there, so I'm gonna clean that up, and then uh, let's put the new uh, seal in. Spray a little brake cleaner on there. Jesus, well, let's spray it on a rag. All right, I put a little uh, sealant around the edge, and then on the inside, I greased it up. So let's see if we can just put this in with a, with a hammer here. Get it started. All right, I put a little bit of sealant on the inside of the uh, the yoke here. 
and then I greased up the uh, little rubber seal so let's see if we can get this back in place There. Nope, over one notch. Yeah, right there. Right there. <sighs> all right, good. All right, I'm all done with my construction here. I don't have any wood, so I got a little piece of poplar I took out. So let's just tap this in here. Find that washer and put the nut back on. All right, let's get the washer back on. Let's get the nut started. Shit. All right, so that's only like a a quarter turn. The mark is right here, and I got one, I got to go one full, I think. No, one, two, three, let's measure it, see what the fuck it says. That's right. Yeah, I just got uh, about a quarter turn. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go with my little impact here. That's kind of weird. That's one thing I hate about this impact from Milwaukee is that when you're holding the gun, it uh, you press that button for reverse all the frickin' time. Bullshit. Besides that, it's a real good gun. Right there. That's it. All right, are all of our lines line up? So we're all good to go. Let's uh, fill this thing up and uh, put the drive shaft back on, and we're all done. All right, I was right. It's uh, between five eighths and an inch and a half. Uh, the millimeter. Count, what is it, uh, 15 to 40? Yeah, I gotta get a new recording software. Every time I turn my head, the mic switches back to the cam. It's annoying as shit. So if any of you guys have any good recording software, let me know. All right, let's start with the first one. I don't know that why they wouldn't just make it, you fill it to the hole till it runs out like the good old days. Yeah, I can't feel shit. I measured my pinky, you know, that was the top digits one inch. Yeah, I don't remember this thing taking more than three. I got two in there now. Pull a little bit in, check it, pull a little bit in, check it. All right, well, there you go. That wasn't uh, that big of a deal. Uh, the only mistake I made uh, was I bought the one and eighth inch socket when I needed the one and a quarter. 
I put in uh, three quarts and I jammed my finger down there and I still couldn't uh, feel anything. And the internet says uh, 2.7. So, you know, I'll run it for a while. I'll check it and I'll see what's going on. But I drained that thing uh, pretty dry. Uh, so, you know, who knows? But uh, I'm happy with all the results. It wasn't that big of a deal. I remeasured it to make sure that uh, nut was uh, the right distance that it was when I first started it because that quarter turn... You know, that doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, who knows? All the lines line up and measured out right, uh, so that all should be good. I raised my truck up uh, 15 inches, uh, which wasn't enough, uh, especially when you got to maneuver a cam around it and get the angles and shots like that. So I'd raise it up at least uh, 20 inches off the ground, uh, plus I'm a big boy, so, uh, you know, the more room, the better. Hey, uh, don't forget to go to that uh, Rob Steve uh, channel. He's a good uh, Canadian up there by the North Pole. Uh, he's a real uh, nice guy. I went to school up at uh, uh, Montre Blanc, uh, or I went to race car school up at Montre Blanc, uh, Canada, a little bit north of uh, Montreal 20-some years ago. And uh, Canada's a beautiful, uh, beautiful country. So, uh, yeah, click on that link. Uh, go tell him that uh, Rick and Fix says hello. All right, uh, well, uh, that's about it. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, go Cubs because this is the year we're going to win the World Series. All right, I'll see you on the next round.